shall overcome sickness. You shall overcome the chains of hell. You shall overcome the powers of darkness. Say no power will be able to close that door. Say I prophesy over my life. Say I prophesy, I prophesy. Hallelujah. God bless you. Welcome once again here, Revealing the Supernatural with Pastor Ed Citronelli. We have an awesome man of God that, that was a, a high-level Satanist during his days before Jesus arrested him. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that, that Jesus is still Lord and that there is power in the blood of Jesus Amen. to dismantle Amen. and destroy every works of the devil. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, that for this purpose was the Son of God manifested that he came to destroy the works of the devil. Amen. Tonight is going to be a great program because we have a special guest that the Lord has raised up in these last days to take the message of deliverance, to, to reveal the things that Satan does not want his, uh, the people of God to know. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to put your hands together for a man of God, a man that has been called for this time, Evangelist John Ramirez. God bless you. God, God bless, bless you. It's you. good God to have you. you. Pastor Ed, it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity to be on this wonderful program for time as this because we believe in, we, we believe that God is preparing his church, you know, for end time church. Wow. Right, there's no more fun and games anymore. God is not taking things lightly anymore. It's time to get ready, be ready, and be more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Not just talk about it, but live it. You know, I, I, I feel so excited uh, about this moment because I, I, I believe that this is an, a, a divine appointed time. I believe that, that, that the kingdom of Satan is trembling right now Amen. because what we're about to reveal mm -hmm. for the glory of Jesus. John, uh, in, in two sentences, I, I want you to share with us quickly, who is John Ramirez? <laughs> I would say John Ramirez is a misfit. A misfit? Yes. Because God used misfits to confound the wise. God used misfits to, to bring the world to foolishness. So I'm just God's misfit. So I am. Wow. No, no less. I'm okay with that though. Well, you know, that, that lines up with what Paul the Apostle said. And, and, and obviously he, he counted himself to be the least Man. of all men and, and we see when Jesus appointed the 12 they were also uh, uh, people that were outcasts so to speak so I think you're in good company I'm in great company and I am in great company too Amen. hallelujah hallelujah you know I, I, I've read so so much about you I, I obviously we're gonna speak a little bit about your book later and, and 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 books rather and and what the Lord has been doing through your ministry um, but who who was John Ramirez before he got arrested by Jesus Christ. And I believe you said that now you are a bond servant or prisoner of Christ and you don't want no parole. No parole. No parole. I'm doing life in Jesus. Wow. Wow. Who was John Ramirez before he became arrested by Christ? I, John Ramirez was a... Uh, John Ramirez was a satanic evangelist i was a general in the kingdom of the devil himself i was a general in the kingdom of the devil himself i was recruiting people from every nationality every culture i will put witchcraft on people i if i told you, you had 30 days to live go prepare your funeral because i was coming for you 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 were a general a general in the kingdom of darkness so, so that means that in the kingdom of darkness, they, they are, they are ranks and levels. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, Jesus, Jesus said that the kingdom of darkness is not divided; it is a military force to be reckoned with. So, so I was in that military force to be reckoned with. I never lost a, a demon fight. I never lost a fight. If I wanted to destroy the devil worship, I never lost a fight. The only fight I lost was the 1999 when I met Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Okay, hallelujah. I can live with that. So, so, so how long were you serving the devil? 
25 years. 25 years. Mm -hmm. Take us through your journey from the time you was initiated, if you will, up a, until you became a high-ranking Satanist. I was initiated at the age of eight years old. Eight? Eight years old. And uh, I was initiated by the second and first heaven. A necklace fell out of the first and second wait, heaven. Wait, 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 wait. You was eight years old. Mm -hmm. Initiated by the first... First and second heaven. And second heaven. Principalities. Principalities. Yes. The kingdom, it, it, it's, it's three kingdoms. It's three, it's three, three levels. There's the third heaven. What Paul said he visit, there's a, there's a, there's a prince of, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a the second heaven, it's, it's, it's the outer space, principality room, there. that's where people see UFOs and they see all kind of stuff, but that's an illusion, that's another, another, another story to that. And, and then you got the first heaven, which you can see the sky. So it's first heaven, second heaven, and Paul said, I visit the third heaven. So I, I, a necklace came down from the second heaven, first heaven, hit the ground at ages so. I heard a mimic voice call my mom. My mom called me. Now there was no way that my mom could I can hear that voice because from where I was at, I was in, a, in the South Bronx in a broken schoolyard. From that location, from my mom, my mom needed to have like a loudspeaker in order for me to hear the voice. And I grabbed the necklace, I put it on me, and it was a necklace with many colors. You grabbed and the necklace. I grabbed the necklace. I something told me in my in my mind, put it on. I put the necklace on, the many colors represent the many colors of the kingdom of darkness because the kingdom of darkness worked with colors. Santeria worked with colors. How, uh, uh, how many colors were in the necklace? Probably, I would say seven. 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 Se uh, seven, like they said, there's seven powers seven of, the dark, powers. of the dark side. Okay. And, and, and what, what were these colors? Uh, what colors were, 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 were these colors? On the necklace, yeah, okay, black, black. It was I remember black. It was uh, white. It was orangey, like an orange color. Uh, there was green in it, and uh, there was green in it, and there was other other colors that show like a rainbow color on the necklace. And then it had a big Apache thing on the front of the necklace, like uh, an Apache of an Indian. Indian, and, and these colors represented uh, uh, a principality or one of the African powers. Well, it represented principalities because every principality that you associate with and deal with and sign a contract with, they operate with different colors because you see the demons have to operate with colors, birthdays, signs, and stuff like that because there's nothing in common unless they build a bridge between humanity and immortality. This is, this is interesting and powerful. They, they have to deal with colors, they have to deal with signs, they have to deal with, with numbers, birthdays. And you said that these things create a bridge. A bridge. From the demonic world. From the demonic world to the humanity. To humanity. Mm -hmm. and, and this is why they have, obviously, the, these colors. Yeah, these colors, right? Because the humanity, rep rep humanity in, order, in order for me to connect with, with you, we have to have something in common. That's correct. Right. In order, so we have something in common, now we can build something together. So how can I build something with demons and people, uh, actually with falling angels at one time, uh, we know the story in, in the book of Genesis, the falling angels at one time, that, that we have nothing in common. So if I built something, give you a birthday, say I was born in the 1700s, I had a family, I had this and had that. Now, in your human mind, you can relate to me, now we can build a partnership. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, probably some of you are hearing things for the first time that maybe doesn't make sense, but I want to assure you that, that it may not make sense to you uh, uh, naturally, but but this is all uh, real. Is 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 the Bible speaks about these things that, that there is an invisible world that existed before the physical world. John, uh, so so you took the necklace. I took the necklace. I put it on. It, it, it's the devil. The kingdom of darkness mimics the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Yes, we can't relate to God. God had to send Jesus. Right, in human form. Because we, 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 could, we could never find God. God is too high, too lifted up. You can't even describe it. He has to be revealed. Same thing with his kingdom. So I put the necklace on. Once I put the necklace on, my whole life changed. I was never that young boy. I lost my whole childhood. At eight years old. Eight years old. Now, now that you have the necklace on, what took place next? Because I, I believe that then there, there must be an initiation, a ceremony, to, to, to bring you officially 
into a servant of darkness. Usher, what happened? Usher, I was ushered into the kingdom of darkness. The necklace was the first uh, initiation contact with the dark side. And then once the necklace was put on, I went into the realm of my first ceremony. Was, uh, my mom's and my aunt, my aunt was a witch, and she called me last year, but that's a different story. After, after 15 something years, she called me, and we got into it, but Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. And, and so, so we, 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 we uh, the initiation was when, when I went to the, we went to the tarot card reading lady, the witch. Uh, my mom took me as a little boy because she went to company my aunt. But the, 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 the witch knew already that I was already had the initiation. So she fixed her eyes on me, forgot about my aunt, forgot about my mother, and I became the target. And then that, two weeks later, I got my first initiation into Santeria, which is the five elekis of the dark side, which is about Ala Chango, Ochun, Jemaya, and uh, I forgot the other one. Uh, five of them, it was put on me, initiated to the dark side, and I had to dress in white for seven days. For seven days? Mm-hmm. And that's, and that's how I moved up the ranks as an ex devil worshiper. And through the age of eight years old to the age of 35, I became a general for the kingdom of darkness. I was, I was one of the primary, I would say this, not to boast or not to say anything because my life is in Christ and Christ alone. But I was one of the greatest evangelists to the dark side. I probably recruited more Christians to the dark side than other Christians in the church recruited people to the church. Because it's all in the, in the mind, the battlefield. I, I, in other words, you <laughs> was an evangelist for Satan, mm -hmm. and you did your job very well. In other words, you recruited people to the dark side. And I'm sorry to say what you say is true, that, that the church is not recruiting the numbers to the church side that sometimes the agents of Satan are recruiting to the dark side. Oh, look at, look at the, you, if, you, if you take a good look at today's society, look at ISIS. Yeah, How many people yeah, yeah. they're recruiting in the Western world? Very much. Very much. Very much. So, so is it the church recruiting people to the, to, to the feet of Jesus Christ? I was recruiting people to the feet of the devil. And I was very good at it. So, so, so you, 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 you go into the realm of Santeria. Yes. Specifically in the realm of Paloma Yumbe. Yes. Yeah. What is Paloma Yumbe? Paloma Yumbe is a direct, there's 21 rows to the dark side. 21 divisions, 21 to the dark side. That's why you see the book of Daniel. Daniel prayed for 21 days. He fasted for 21. Daniel prayed the first day. His prayers are heard, but the prince of Persia, which is a demon, on the second heaven held back his blessing. Correct. Right? So the devil's number is not 666. It's 21. Because it's 21, 21 rows to the dark side. So you, you got you got Palama Yumbe, you got Santeria, you got spiritualism, and then you got like Islam, and you got Buddhism, and you got you got you got New Age, you got you got you got Wicca, so on and so on and so on. Because the devil needs 21 rows to entrap humanity from any direction, every culture, and every nationality. And it's set up so well that people fall for it. So here you you, you come into the realm of, of Palama Yumbe. Paloma Yumbe. Yeah. And, and Paloma Yumbe is, is, is You have to what? sell your soul to the you devil. You have to sell your soul your to the devil. The devil shows up and you sign it away. You sign it away. Yes. And that's what you did. Yeah, I got the marks right here. Jesus. Yes, yes, I see. I, I, I don't yeah. know if, if, if the camera can, can pick that up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get naked. <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> Amen. It, it, Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, for, for the sake of the camera, just, yeah. just, just yeah. one more time, John. One more I time. The, I have the marks here. That, see, that's see, right there. Right yeah, there. right there. The marks and the marks over and the other mark here, there. and then I got the marks in the back, the mark in the back, and I had a mark on the forehead because you, you, you have to shed blood to sign the contract. And then when you sign the contract, you shed blood, you lose your conscience, you lose your memory, and you lose your identity. Yeah, because uh, the, the life of a person is in the blood, because the life, and exactly, and then also, uh, the, the principality, Saterayo and Sarabanda became. The principalities with Sarabanda, Seterayo is, is the principality of Haiti. Yeah, yeah. Which works with fire, right? And then the Sarabanda is the principality, which is an African name, the principality of Islam. That's why when you see stuff on TV and people say, I'm going to send you a green handkerchief, stay away from that junk. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is good.
All right, I, I want you and those that are watching us via television, the World Network, I want you to pay attention and, and don't change that channel. Don't listen, don't even go to the bathroom. You may miss something that God wants you to hear. Uh, so, so here you, you've been initiated to Paloma Jumbe, and, and, and now obviously you had to do something within that realm in order for you to begin to go up in rank. Yes. Yes. So it, it, it's, a, it's, like, it's like Christianity, right? You want, you want God's best? How faithful you want to be? How committed you want to be? How much you want to sacrifice to get God's attention? So the, the devil mimics the same situation. So I don't have to sacrifice a human being because sacrificing a human being in the kingdom of doctrine doesn't mean power. See, people confuse that. The sacrifice of a human being in, 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 in the kingdom of darkness, it means that you're playing God and you're mocking God. You can take a life. Mm. So basically, for me to move up the ranks, my thing is, I had, now I had assignments to do, to go out to clubs and lounges and go out to house parties and go to different places and do ceremonies and, go to, and spend time in the cemetery and also move up the ranks by being faithful. How much, who I can recruit, who I can bring to the dark side because the more people I bring to the dark side the more brings promotion so you were very active in your assignment I had a full-time ministry you so had a full-time ministry mm -hmm. in the dark and, side. And, and you would do it without hesitation without questioning and you worked well I worked I, I worked I mean uh, first of all I, I uh, pastor I had to go to demon church so demon church was from seven in the evening to five in the morning when Christian was only going to church for two days uh -huh. I mean for two hours till, till what time in the morning from 7 in the evening to 5 in the morning. Why Why that time till 5 in the morning, John? To be why? trained. Why, why, to why be those disciple. times when people are, are, are sleeping? Why? Oh, because the church is asleep and the, and the demons are up. So I said, so, so, when I went, so, so basically for me to take over your neighbor, that way I had to wait till you fall asleep because I know that you were a Christian that was not functional or not, you, not, you weren't a productive Christian. So you fell asleep, I was up taking your neighbor and your church and your ministry. John, you know, this is a thing that I that I teach everywhere I go, I teach it in the church, I teach it in conferences, that, that the demonic world is more active during that time until 5 a.m. when the Christians are sleeping. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the reason why, 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 why neighborhoods, as you mentioned, they get taken over, even Christians uh, become destroyed, is, is because when we are sleeping, Right? Uh, uh, the, the, the realm of Satan is the most, most active. And, and I teach that, that, that if you want breakthrough in your life, if you want to put Satan in check, uh, a Christian that sleeps too much is a destroyed Christian. Defeated. You know, defeated Christian. And, 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 and I believe that, that unfortunately, that I call that, that most Christians, they have a sleeping anointing. <laughs> <That's a good laughs> <one>. You know, yet yet you were up, and 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 the satanic agents around the world they are most active during that time. Yeah, we you know what the 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 the, 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 norm, the the whole the whole norm is is that if you're not up and doing the job, punishment from the devil comes. Wait wait wait! If an agent is not working during the time. Mm -hmm. That time when the Christians are sleeping, so to speak, mm -hmm. if they're not working, Satan's kingdom will punish, punish that, that vessel. That vessel, that, that agent. Per, that agent will be punished. Either punished with a bad accident or punished with a, with a sickness or punished even to the point of death depending on the degree of what you missed on that wow. you didn't promote or you didn't move forward for the kingdom of darkness. So the kingdom of darkness is a kingdom that is, is, is driven by, by fear, by intimidation, and violence. punishment, violence, mm -hmm. slavery, so to speak. Yeah, premature death. And if you do not comply with what Satan wants you to do, mm -hmm. you're, you're gone. gone, you're gone, you're dead. You're replaced. Either you or your, your children or your wife or somebody close yeah. to you. Someone close to you, someone that you know that you're gonna hurt and remember have remorse for the rest of your life because you didn't do your job and that person paid the price for you. So you used to go into uh, nightclubs. You used to looking go for Christians. Looking for Christians in the nightclubs. In the night, and you would find Christians in the nightclub. Yeah, in the nightclubs, find Christians because the devil point them out <sighs> in lounges, in bars, because they had one foot in the world and one foot in the church. So I, that was very easy to recruit. See, God, it, it, it's not the point that God was not all powerful. You can, you know. 
there was no way for me to sit here with you if it wasn't for Jesus. That's Jesus, right. Jesus is just indescribable. Mm -hmm. But the vessel was weak. Yeah, yeah. The vessels out there that call themselves Christians were weak, full of religion, but not full of truth. So you could be full of religion, know the word. The devil knows the word. I, I knew the word, the word somewhat. I knew how to play with the word. I know. See, I, I knew when I came up a Christian, I knew that the, I had to draw first blood against that Christian in order to gain the territory, the spiritual territory off him, the little bit that he had. And I knew there were different compartments in the mindset of the individual in the spirit realm that I knew how to go into the compartment and make him weak. And, and then once I had his mind, I had his heart. If I had his heart, as well as emotions. And then I strip him down to nothing. Whatever little armor he had, I strip it and take it away from him, and he became a victim. So the first thing you would attack would, would be his mind. The you mind. would manipulate his mind. His mind. The thought pattern. Because the devil works in patterns. Give cycles. us an example. Example. I, a Christian come up to me, he'd say, well, I got the word here, you know, I need, and I share a word with you. I said, let me share mine first. I said, let me give you my word, and I, I give you my word first for my daddy. And then you, can, you tell me yours. Now you lost the fight because you gave me first opportunity to draw first blood. So when demons, but when devils come up to me today and say, let me tell you something, I got something to tell you. I said, well, let me stop you. Let me tell you mine first. Let me set it off on you first. And then if anything left over you, you can speak. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Evangelist John Ramirez, a servant of the living God, a, a former high level uh, uh, Satanist in the kingdom of, of, of Satan, a high ranking uh, 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 priest in the kingdom of Satan, and he's revealing things that, that you and I need to hear. Evangelist, you had mentioned some things that, that, that the television audience is listening, and, and I'm sure some of them are, are, are just uh, dumbfounded. How you used to go out to discos and, li and nightclubs and uh, places to recruit specifically Christians. You know, one, one thing the church, and one of the things people don't find it because the church don't teach this. That's right. Amen. So, so, so they don't, to them it's a different language. But do you, I used to go to clubs and recruit Christian, and not only recruit Christian, the devil already knew that the devil, see, the devil, the Bible says that the devil roams. Like a roaring lion, like yes. a roaring lion to see who he can seek and divide. The devil's not looking to devour unbelievers. He already has them. He already has them. Why am I going to hurt an unbeliever when he's already in my camp? So I got to go around and, 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 and discredit God, character, and discredit God, who he is, by finding these Christians in the wrong places at the wrong time, hanging out in the wrong locations. So my job was to go to those places and get them out of those places and bring them to the dark side because they're already halfway there. In, in, your, in your tenure as, as, a, as a servant of Lucifer, just how many Christians, and of course, you don't have to give a specific number, but maybe you don't remember, but... But how many Christians do you think you recruited to the dark side? A whole bunch. A whole bunch. I mean, it, it, it was, it, it just, it, it, it breaks my heart, you know, because I'm a believer today. And, and of course. And sometimes the devil torments me saying, you did this to Christians, you did that to Christians. Why you love them so much now? Why are you teaching them my secrets? So, so I, I recruited, a, wow, a couple of hundred Christians, maybe, maybe more. Mm -hmm. the dark side. Women, men, young and old. Families. Families t also. Paloma Yumbe. You say you had to go into cemeteries. Yes. Why? It's because there are different spirits in cemeteries. El Barón de Cementerio. El Barón de Cementerio. Anaísa. Anaísa. So these, all, the, all these spirits, are, they roam these places because people go there to look for relatives. Ladies and gentlemen, these names that he's mentioning are, are, are part of the seven African powers. Anaísa Pie, this is a Spanish name. El Barón de Cementerio. These are demon principalities that these are their names in Spanish. And, and the reality of it, they establish themselves in places, the marine spirits and oceans. Marine spirits. Marine spirits and yes. ocean, Jamaya, Ocho. Yes. These are African names. Uh, uh, you got people like uh, uh, you got you got in the mountains, uh, uh, Congos, Madamas in the mountains, yes. and all this stuff. That you know they establish themselves in location because they know that, that you see you see humans are, are so intrigued by nature. Mm. So they know how to lure people into these places. When I had to send my soul to the devil in Palomar, I had to go to the highest mountain on Van Corten Park. 
to the highest mark by Court and Park. Not too far from here. So I had to go to the highest mark by Court and Park and find a specific tree for me to lay hands on, and I had to have my shirt off. It was 15 degrees. And they had to bring gunpowder and other stuff they need to bring. I'm not even going to mention this. I'm going to edify the body of Jesus Christ. But I had to go there and lay my hands there. That was my first part of the ceremony before I was able to sell my soul to the devil. And what was the purpose for you going to the street, laying your hands on it at 15 degrees, no shirt off? What was the purpose the of that? The purpose of going to the tree is it means, uh, it means, it means uh, how, taking off the shirt. Are you willing to sacrifice and give up the shirt of your back to the devil? And then the tree represents oak, represents stability, represents strength. Or you want, do you want that? So every act had a meaning. But you got to remember, every act had a play, a meaning, a definition. And then the, the funny thing is that Adam and Eve in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The snake, I, I, yeah. I mean, the Bible don't indicate it, but I'm sure the devil was, the snake was hanging out by a tree. Because there were fruits. So mm -hmm. in order for me to give you fruit, I have to have you... By the tree. Yeah. And the Bible said that the garden had many trees. Yeah, sure. So, so, so what did the devil confront the tree of good and evil? Confronted uh, uh, Eve. So, so same thing with my situation. At, uh, you know, in, 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 in demonology or in spiritual warfare, uh, being trained in Africa and obviously, you know, in, in the deliverance ministry and so forth and, and confronting witches and, and, and warlocks and, and things like that. And, and, and obviously one of the things that, that they do, uh, you know, I've confronted demons of, of the bush, mm -hmm. demons of the forest, mm -hmm. uh, agents that, that transferred or translate themselves to sleep inside trees, mm -hmm. you know, so, so. These things uh, have a meaning. These things uh, have a, a relationship. And, and everything you're saying, you know, my mind is going back to that. And these are the things you said you used to do. Yeah, because it has a foundation. And people are looking for foundation, stability. They're looking for a place to, to come into an agreement. So, so basically, like, like, say, for example, uh, for me to take over the neighborhood, right? So for me to come out into a region, I don't have to look for the people. I don't have to go one after one. That's too much. It takes too much time. So what I do, I take over the neighborhood spiritually by actually projecting and locking the four corners of the neighborhood represent the north, the south, the east, and the west. If I can take over the neighborhood, the church haven't taken over the neighborhood, but I took over the neighborhood away from the church. Now I own the neighborhood. I own the spirit. I own the spiritual rights over the neighborhood because the church is too much asleep, too much on their own agenda. So I take over the spiritual right over the neighborhood. I own the neighborhood. Now I own the people. And ladies and gentlemen, locking, locking the, 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 the neighborhood, mm -hmm. the north, south, east, and west, and what, what they usually do, they go to an intercession. Yes. And there they'll begin to do their stuff uh, in the spirit realm, uh, astral projection. In other words, you won't be able to see them physically. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they will come and they will suspend themselves over, over the, the air. Oh, yeah, exactly. Speak about that. Yeah, I, I suspend myself over, over the region. Right, and I start cursing the region. I start speaking. The Bible says, even the Bible says that the book of Proverbs 18 21 said, The life of spirit of death lays on the tongue. Yes, so there's demonic powers in the tongue, there's powers in Christianity in the tongue. So, so, so satanic agents they understand the, the, the dynamics of decreeing and declaring things, yes, yes, and making things that are not uh, right. as it to come. Exactly, Yet and the Bible right. explains that for us, right? But the Lucifer knew the Bible. So he using he using he using he use, not using the Bible. He's using the the, the 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 way he you know Joseph can't create nothing. He's a created being. Correct. So he can't. He's not a great original. He's a copycat. Mm -hmm. So he can copy everything. That's why Santeria. If you take away the animals, Santeria can't work because it's about the blood. Yeah, the blood. The blood, right? The blood in the Old Testament represented Jesus. Because if you see the blood of animals and goats represented, it, 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 was, it was a form of Jesus Christ, the coming of the Messiah. Even, even Moses, when he put the blood on the posts, you know, he put it in three parts of the posts, right? That's correct. So it represent the cavalry already. He was talking cavalry mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 the blood in the middle was Jesus and, and the two criminals. So, so bottom line is the devil copies everything that the word of God is, and he uses it with his satanic powers. As an evangelist for the devil... What was your specific assignment in the kingdom of darkness? Kill, steal, and destroy. 
and bring pain to the church like they've never seen before. Bring pain to the church. Like they've never seen it before. You used to hate the church. Oh, what a Of passion. course, you love the church now. Oh, you you feel with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Thank God. I, I, I take, I take, <laughs> I take beat down for the church. Hallelujah. You know, I stand in the gap for the church. I, I cry for my brothers and sisters in the church. Amen. I share the battlefield like I'm sharing with you today for the church of Jesus Christ. That deserves a hand of applause in Amen. Jesus' name. <laughs> No turning back. And no taking no prisoners either. They can, any devil wants to show up to any meeting, any devil wants to show up to a meeting we're going to have, bring it. Ah, put your hands together for you. I like this man. Bring it. I like this bring man. Bring it. Don't leave nothing home. John, John, so, so you, were, you were assigned by Satan. Satan was your father. Oh, yeah, absolutely. My father, was, matter of fact, my father was a devil worshiper. And my father got shot for a woman at the age of 33 that wasn't even his when he had a good wife home. And I prayed my father's death. And Satan said, the new replaces the old. Because he had no he, use for my father anymore. He prayed his death. I prayed his death. And it happened. And it happened. And then that day, Satan said, I take you now. I'll become your dad. He used to be your father. My, of course. My, you, you my, 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 my biological father was into spiritualism. And I used to watch him uh, from a corner in a little, he had a room set up with all, uh, all his uh, idols. And he worshiped sitting in that room. And uh, they, he would worship that sitting in that room. Days on, days on, days. I mean, for, for a lifetime, sent me to the Botanica to buy stuff to help him de uh, establish his kingdom in darkness to have that relationship with, uh, like, La San, La San, Lazaro, San Lazarus. And, but that's just a demon, a principality. In Santeria, uh, mm -hmm. in, in Santeria, it's a principle. In, in, in spiritualism, it's, it's uh, uh, a matter of fact, uh, Babalu Ayer, you see Ricky Ricardo. Yeah, yeah. He used to sing a song, Babalua. Yeah, Ricky Ricardo was a Santero. They, they so sing people, that song a lot of yeah, people not it. knowing what they're singing. But be, right, they sing it, but you're ushering that demon into your house when Correct. you sing that song because you're worshiping and you're chanting into that demon. So when I love Lucy, uh, Ricky Ricardo will come on and sing and play the congas and sing Babalua. Yeah, and all America was singing, you were ushering that devil into your house. And Ricky Ricardo knew that. He knew what he was doing. Of course, of course. Because he was an agent of Satan. Wow. Same wow. thing with Mark Anthony. Same thing with Jennifer Lopez. Same thing with uh, Beyonce. Same thing with Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. But we, we, you know, the church is stupid enough. We go buy their CDs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. The Bible says, be wise. As a ser be wise as a serpent, be gentle as a dove, That's right? That's exactly right. But and then, and then the Bible also says, my people perish because of what? Lack of knowledge. There you go. Yeah. Because yeah. the church is not teaching the people what they're supposed to teach. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to some things that perhaps it, it, it may have been mind-blowing. It, maybe it, it may have been uh, foreign to you. Maybe you have heard it for the first time here on Revealing the Supernatural. But I want you to know that this is real. Uh, like Evangelist mentioned earlier, that, that the Spirit spiritual realm existed before the physical and because of that whatever happens in the physical must first be birth in the spiritual and in order for us to to counteract and and, and, and come against that and be able to be victorious, we need the name of Christ, we need the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, we need the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit and we need to be led of the Spirit at all time. That's why we have these types of program. Uh, many of you have sent prayer requests, evangelists, we, we're going to lay hands on these prayer requests. There's, there's many here that have come in and, and we're going to pray for your prayer requests. But listen, don't forget uh, his two books, Out of the Devil's Cauldron, A Journey from uh, Darkness to Light and, and Unmasking uh, the, the Devil, powerful books. And, and some of you have heard about my book and, and if you don't have it, you don't know what you're missing. It's Prayers of War. Prayers that break satanic chains, hindrances, and demonic operations for immediate result. Uh, for the first 100 callers that order the, 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 the John Ramirez two books, uh, we will throw in uh, a copy for your edification to bless you uh, of any of the DVD, uh, How to Pray When You Are Under Demonic Attack. Uh, they just brought me this one, and in fact, we're going to give you an opportunity. How to Be Self-Delivered. This, this is a powerful uh, DVD. And, and this one, many of you should, must get a copy of it. And this is how Satan attacks the Christian finances. As Evangelist uh, Ramirez mentioned, that, that Satan attacks the finances because he understands that the gospel cannot progress all over the world without this tool. And that is what finances are. It's just a tool for a better end or to bring the gospel to where it should go. Secrets of prayer that Satan does not want you to know. And, and, and also... 
70 rules for spiritual warfare. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to bless you. I want to say thank you for tuning in to this program, Revealing the Supernatural. I'll call the number that is at the bottom of your screen, and uh, there's people that are standing by to, to, to receive your, your prayer, to pray for you people that are trained in spiritual warfare under the anointing of the fire of the Holy Spirit, and they know how to pray the prayer of faith. Amen. As, as we go off the air, evangelists, we're going to lay hands on, on, on these, these uh, a prayer requests. People uh, have been sending these prayer requests from different parts of the nation, even, even different countries, even part of Australia. And I'm going to ask our studio audience as well to, to join us, to uh, extend their hands as we pray for this prayer. John, please, go ahead. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, you, you said that no weapon formed against the believer is going to prosper. Yes. So we put the devil on notice, every satanic attack against yes, the brothers Lord. and sisters. Father, My we God. We burn down their altar. We strip hey. them down from their authority. Yes. Father, we burn down their banners and scrolls in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name Father, of Jesus God, Christ. demonic altars in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we come against any spirit of infirmity. My yes, God. Lord. I got any spirit of demonic attack over the mind, my God. Any tormenting spirit, any tormenting spirit of the mind, we break those things. We break any demonic attack against the body yes. of Christ, the body of the believers, my God. Every sickness, spirit of infirmity, Father, we bind those devils. We attack in the devil. name of Jesus Christ. Marakabaya. We tell the devil we put him on notice. He mm. In the name of Jesus, and we stand in the gap, and we come in agreement with the Holy Spirit, mm. our brothers and sisters. Yes, in Lord. In the unmatchable name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let it be a praise report, every single paper. Yes, be. Lord. Let it be to your glory. My in God. Your in your praise. La in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Until next time, remember that the best for you is yet to come. God bless you. Bye-bye. You shall overcome sickness. You shall overcome the chains of hell. You shall overcome the powers of darkness.